Earlier this year, a YouTuber asked me, what actually constitutes a viral video? This is a very relevant question, as his regular uploads get around 1 million views organically, which would constitute a viral video for pretty much any brand out there, right? Unlike impressions or reach or any of those other metrics agencies often pass off as metrics for success, and we'll get to that in another video, a view on YouTube is almost always a signal of engagement. Almost always, as I'll show you. Today, we're going to explore true virality. That is, what it means to have a video with actual views by actual people who are actually engaged. How to separate the real successes from the paid successes and hopefully redefine what it means to have a viral video. Hi, I'm Tara and this is Truly Social. Let me start by saying that I have nothing against paid media. If coupled with great content, it can actually help boost a fantastic message to go a little further. I don't believe in that whole build it and they will come motto. Every piece of content that has gone viral has something helping it along the way. And yes, of course the content itself needs to be awesome, but that should go without saying. What I do take issue with is using paid media in the place of good content. Years ago, I was meeting with a group of brand managers who told me that every video they had made had gone viral. After looking at their YouTube channel though, I wondered how? Their content was just ads repurposed for the web. A closer look though revealed that even with millions of views, there were very few thumbs up thumbs down or comments. As an example, this is what thumbs up and thumbs down look like when a popular YouTuber has a similarly viewed video. You'll typically see between 1 to 3% of the video viewers engaging in this fashion. On the supposed viral videos for the said brand, only a percentage of a percentage of a percent of those viewers engage. Seeing this is usually a good sign that views aren't really views at all. Most brands as well as YouTubers turn this feature off, but in some cases you can actually see the stats behind a video. A normal YouTuber video will have a good boost at the beginning when they launch and promote the video, but will continue to grow upwards over time. A telltale sign that the views are paid for is when the views are huge coming out of the gate, then flatline after the initial push. This is what you see on most branded viral videos. YouTubers and other digital creators invest years into building a deeply engaged, loyal audience who will hang off their every word. They rarely, if ever, pay for a single view. Most brands, on the other hand, pay for the majority of those views. Though there are a handful of exceptions to this rule, where great content has just been amplified by paid, most viral videos that brands report are not actually viral by definition. They have just a lot of paid for views. A truly viral video is actually one that gets picked up and spreads organically far beyond the normal audience of that channel. This could mean that a channel that usually gets 100 views per video has a video that gets 100,000 views overnight, or a channel that gets a million views normally getting 10 million views overnight. Either way, the content resonated with a broader audience, therefore went viral. So be cautious when hearing statistics about viral brand videos, and if you are working for or with a brand, you should think of investing in growing an audience to get you better engagement on a regular basis. It'll cost you less per video in the long run. My name is Tara, and this has been Truly Social.